Hi there, my name is Stijn Niesen of the Diabetic Remission Clinic at the Royal Veterinary College. Today we're going to talk syringes, because if you are a diabetic pet owner, then you will have to give insulin to your pet. Um, and we tend to use syringes for that. There are some new developments with insulin pens as well available, but today we'll focus on syringes, because a lot of people still like to use the syringes. When we use syringes, we need to be absolutely sure that we use the right type of insulin syringe. And the essential bit to look out for is the U40 or U100 differentiation. And what do I mean with that? Well, first of all, how to recognize that. I've got here a syringe here, and we're looking for the U number. And the U stands for units, and 100 stands for 100 units in a milliliter, so U100. Whereas other syringes, let me show you this one, have, for instance, a U40, so 40 units per milliliter. So the importance of this is that we need to make absolutely sure that we use the right type of insulin with the right type of syringe. Now, if you're using a veterinary licensed insulin, like either caninsulin, vetsulin, or prozinc, then they will be 40 units per milliliter, which means, therefore, we have to use a syringe with the U40 designation. Um, if we, however, use another type of insulin, for instance, like glargine, that tends to be a U100 type of insulin, so 100 units per milliliter. If we mix the syringes up, then accidents can happen. We can then uh, accidentally give either too much or too little insulin. So just remember, the right type of insulin syringe needs to be used with the right type of insulin type. U100, U40, please do pay attention to that. Thank you very much for your attention.